So I'm here with Robbie from Amada. What is new for the Amada range and what's happened you know, over the last couple of years? So last couple of years we've had quite a few new models come in. Uh, we've had a new uh, all-mountain performance seat come in, replacing our previous Invictus series. So that's the Declivity series and it's going down incredibly well here at the minute. Um, so that came out the year that COVID came around. Um, so nobody up until this point had really skied on it in the UK. Yeah. Um, so it's still really exciting as like a fresh new model for us. Declivity. Declivity, yeah. Right. And that means? It means a downward slope. Right. Okay. Like decline. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, gotcha. So that's been a really positive model for us. and. Um, there was an original Declivity that was a JP Eau Claire sort of project that he was behind. And so Top Henry, based in Chamonix, has sort of taken up the mantle of, of um, championing that ski. Right, okay. So that's your, and then you've got, so what other ranges you've got? You've got a touring? Uh, yeah, so we've got the Declivity, side. which is our all-mountain performance. And then we have our Locator series, which is brand new for next year. This is a complete unisex um, ski, um, and it's, a really a new category for us. Previously we were sort of in the free touring category, um, sort of a little bit heavier, but now we're a really true touring lightweight ski. Right. Uh, you've got the 104 here. Yep. Um, it's not got a ton of camera on there, but it's got slightly longer radius. Yep. Um, and feedback has been incredibly positive so far. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is the first time anyone's been skiing. Yeah. So that's your locator, you've got Declivity, Locator, yeah. what else have you got in here? So also we've got the Signature Series, which is our, our true sort of um, pro models, because very much we're a brand that's always going to be led by what the athletes demand. Yeah. Um, and it's always going to be about ensuring creativity has a place in skiing. So we've got the Sammy Carlson Pro, which is the White Walker. Yeah. Um, and we've got Phil Caspon's uh, B-Dog and Henrik Harlow's Adalo. Um, so these are really sort of big important skis for us yeah. um, because they're such big names in, in skiing. Yeah. Um, so as well as that we've got the Reliant series which is our winning equivalent of Declivity and importantly it is the exact same makeup as the Declivity at right. the men's side. Um, we went through a lot of focus groups and spoke to a lot of women in the industry and um, end consumers and a lot of the feedback was that they didn't want a ski that was considered to be like a dumbed down guy ski. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's the same construction um, and it enables us to do more waist widths, more um, more lengths as well. And what about this one, the Zero? So the Zero collection um, is very much our innovation lab. It's where we do things that are not necessarily the most commercial. So for example, uh, we have a B-Dog Edgeless, which is a completely edgeless um, street ski right um, and I mean we sell a good three or four <laughs> right okay not so many yeah um, but then we have things that are a bit more commercial like the stranger yeah and the stranger is like a it's for the consumer that's grown up with Armada yeah maybe now they're they're not spending as much time in the park but they still want something rooted in uh, in freestyle yeah and um, but they can really carve really really well yeah so, so that's, that's the, yeah, the zero. And that's then. the zero stranger. And then we've got the ARV ARW range. And this is like our flagship. This is what Armada is known for. Right. Freestyle skiing and all mountain freestyle. Yeah, yeah all mountain freestyle. Yeah. So we've got so the JJ do. here, which has been a real um, hero piece in the range for, for many years. And Gra I know cool graphics. Yeah, inspired other skis as well yeah. Yeah, from other brands. Um, so we've got the JJ, we've got the 106 in our free ride categories. And then the 96, which is our best-selling ski from the yeah. whole collection. Um, and the 86 as well. Yeah. And again, women's exactly the same. Um, apart from the fact we have a Peruba core version of the 106, which basically means it's a much lighter weight ski. Um, so it's in the women's category, but we actually market it more as a unisex model. Right. Um, okay. So it's the sort of thing that I personally would, would still be inclined to get on. Cool. Brilliant. Perfect. Thanks for the update. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers, Robbie. Thank Cheers. you. For us is the Armada Zero Stranger uh, in a 180 length, which is my favourite length to ski. I'm really excited to ski on this. However, a little bit apprehensive as it is the end of the day and we've got a big profile in this ski, big tip and tail rocker, but I've heard it's a grown up adult free ski. So uh, really excited to get on this and give it a good rip. Cool.
Wow, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit apprehensive to get on this thing. It's one of the last runs of the day for us and I'm jumping onto a ski with a really big rocket profile which could mean that it's a bit skitty and unstable. However, sent it on its edge and it held nose butters, tail butters, really, really fun. And certainly a ski that you can go hell for leather for down the slope, slopes and feel that you're in control. So yeah, thanks Armada for that experience. Wicked.